In 2018, the WHO estimated 10 million new tuberculosis TB, cases worldwide and there were 205,000 child deaths due to TB. Since TB is one of the top 10 causes of death, the prevention and treatment of TB should be one of the top priorities in medical science. The reported high mortality rate in tuberculous meningitis TBM, patients with resistance to rifampin had proven that rifampin is a crucial tuberculosis drug. However, intravenous rifampin has low availability in low to middle income countries and must be administered by healthcare workers. Furthermore, there is no confirmed timeline in developing new drugs to treat TB and TBM. Due to the hurdles, it is necessary to make the best possible use of existing drugs, that is, rifampin. To address the necessity, a study was performed to evaluate the pharmacokinetics, safety slash tolerability, and efficacy of higher, up to 30 mg per kilogram, doses of oral rifampin as a TBM treatment. 60 adult TBM patients were assigned to 10, 20, and 30 mg per kilogram oral rifampin combined with other TB drugs for 30 days. The results showed that a high-dose oral rifampin, up to 30 mg per kilogram, was effective in reducing the mortality rate of patients with TBM down to 15%. To ensure the well-being of the TBM patients who survived due to the higher dosage, the research team suggested to determine the survival benefit of this group of patients in the next phase of study. As UN aims to support the research and development of vaccines and medicines for the communicable and non-communicable diseases, the objective of this study is very well aligned with the Goal 3, Good Health and Well-Being of the UN SDG.